Hey everyone, back with another pickups video. This will be my pickups for the month of April. As we're starting off here, we got a few guides here. Uh, first off, I got a guide for Star Fox 64. This one was uh, like $16 from eBay. Happy to get that one in my collection. Uh, these next two came from Amazon and they worked out about $20 each. You got Quake for 64 and also uh, Quest 64. So those are the, the couple of guides I picked up this uh, month. Um, I did get from that uh, Retro Fighters Kickstarter. I did finally get it in my Retro Fighters Brawler 64 pad. Um, it's alright, I'm still trying to get used to it. The, the double Z triggers are a little bit uh, something to get used to kind of thing. I find I'm randomly hitting those and I'm still hitting the L button, but uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, not as good as the official ones, but uh, it's alright. Uh, I picked up a few figures here from uh, Toys R Us for the grocery gang here. I got uh, from the Bug Strike series, I got uh, General Iraq Attack there. So I still need a few more. I need the translucent ones there, and then the uh, Captain Light Scream and Grot Dog. So look, still on the lookout for those. I was able actually to find a couple more of the Series 3, the Future Power ones. I got uh, Blowfly here. These are all $10 from uh, Toys R Us. We got uh, Vac Attack here. And I got uh, Squish Banana here. Uh, so the only one I'm missing from this series now is I'm missing the Fungus Fries one there. That's the one I'm missing from Series 3, so hopefully I'll get that at some point. Um, <coughs> next up here i got a couple of manuals here. i got uh, Rally Challenge 2000 from eBay. This one was $11. Uh, i got this kind of next lot here. Each of these items worked out about uh, $7 each. i got a uh, manual for Power Rangers Battle Racers. And then i got the manual for Total Carnage for Super Nintendo. And I got a box copy of, or the box for Monopoly, so now I have my copy is fully complete. So I was not for those, wasn't too bad. Uh, now we're going to move on to some convention pickups. So I'll start off here with some of these figures. So picked up these first two Turtles figures from uh, one of the sellers there. Uh, they were $5 each. This is that kickboxing Leo, whatever he is, missing his little gun to make him do the actions there. But, uh, and this is the, um, I think it's powerlifting or slamming mic with um, my original character from him was uh, pretty like faded and stuff, so this is an upgrade uh, for me, and he comes with his cape and stuff, so I will have a complete uh, Michelangelo figure there. Um, these next three also came from a different seller there. Uh, I got these three for, worked out for $25 here. Um, got uh, Space Usagi Yojimbo, this one was $91, that's one of the ones I was missing still. You get it come with a couple accessories. We got... Uh, Murdered here, I think he's from 92, I believe. And also, oh, uh, I got uh, Scale Tail here, and I want to think from 92 as well, so pick those up. Um, and the last figures from the convention I picked up, I got all these figures for $10, so they're about $2 each. You got a couple different variations here. You got uh, this is one of those Toxic uh, Crusaders figures there. Dr. I can't remember his name there, but uh, I don't really have too many of those figures, but. Uh, since we kind of just grouped them all to get a better deal, so got him from Toxic Crusaders, got uh, Powerlifting Donatello, this is the Mutating Bebop, and a couple of uh, Ghostbusters figures, got a, a Winston here, uh, I think this is the Power Pack version, and this is the, one of the uh, Fright features of uh, Peter Bankman, I think this is the Super Fright features there for him, so happy to get those. Um, also from the convention, I picked up a Pokemon manual. This one was two dollars for that, and I also um, I got a complete box copy of Pokemon Silver and a loose cartridge of Pokemon Gold. Um, I already had both those cartridges, so I ended up making kind of the best version for this Pokemon Silver complete box, and I ended up uh, trading in the two loose cartridges. I did replace the batteries there, and then I traded them into my local game store PMP. So for some trade cards, so I paid thirty dollars for the Pokemon Silver and Gold, uh, so it was a pretty good deal to get those, and then you know, like trade trade them in and got uh, more credit than I paid for the item. So essentially, I got uh, now a nice boxed copy of Pokemon Silver. It does have just a little bit of damage on that one side there, but uh, I'll take it. And the last thing for this month here, um, 
We've got this kind of uh, bigger box, uh, N64 box lot off of eBay. They worked out about $15 per box there. Um, there's also a couple of doubles I didn't bother showing there. I kind of used a couple of upgrades from the other boxes there, but uh, these are the ones I needed for my collection here. And I got a complete copy of Doom 64. Got a complete copy of 1080 Snowboarding. Uh, this is Star Wars the Empire. I have the Player's Choice version. Now I have the regular version. Uh, I got Destruction Derby 64. Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Keepers. And the last one uh, was Gex 64 Enter the Gecko. So happy to get these boxes there and kind of uh, complete a few more N64 games for me. Um, so that wraps up my pickups for the month of April. Thanks for watching.